sets of bench planes that a, a, a bench worker might have on their, in their uh, shop, the joiner plane is the longest of these planes. And the primary function of the joiner plane is to joint this long, narrow edge of boards for gluing up boards edge to edge. Another function of the joiner plane would be uh, to flatten out large, wide panels. And the planes are, in my use, are sharpened differently uh, in those two situations. I, I use square crossed uh, sharpened iron for joining edges, and I use a slightly cambered iron for joining the large faces of boards. But we'll talk more about that aspect later on when we talk about the use of the joiner plane. So what characterizes an 18th century plane? One of the strongest indicators that it might be 18th century is that the plane has a single iron. Like so, the uh, iron is tapered along the edge like this, front to back. 19th century planes had a double iron. They were, uh, uh, this top part is called the cap iron. Um, and this changes how the inside of the, the, uh, this, uh, the mouth and the throat of the plane is, is, is manufactured. So we're focusing on 18th century style planes. And I have made a, a model of, these, uh, of the throat here, a cross section, that will help us to understand some of the features of the inside of the plane. And there, in the resource section of the DVD is a section on, uh, uh, has a printable diagram of uh, the plane, its dimensions, and uh, all the measurements and whatnot. You can print out and you look at these terms. But we have a, the, uh, the area here where the shavings come out is called the throw. And that's right here on this, on this cross section. And the throw is bounded by the breast line here, this line right here. Uh, and so the shavings come up like that. And then the other part of the uh, throat is the bed line that the, that the uh, iron rests on right here. And that's this part right here. We can go ahead and put the iron right in here like that. And in between is the abutment. And the abutment is the place where the wedge can rest up against uh, the structure of the uh, throat here and push against the iron to hold the iron in place when the plane is being used. So that abutment line, you can see, runs straight on down, all the way down in a straight line to the bottom of the plane. This is called the mouth, and this is right here is the sole of the plane. Um, so the sole and the mouth uh, and the abutment run straight down like that. Um, on this plane here, you can see, let's take this iron out. Here's the sole and the mouth. The front end of the plane is called the toe, and the back end of the plane is called the heel. Each side of the throat has two cheeks, right cheek and a left cheek. And you can see there's a little decorative carving here called the eyes. So it has two eyes, two cheeks, throat, has the breast, the bed, the mouth, the sole. And then we have a closed tote right here. This, the handle is called a tote. And the tote has an ear. So you have tote, ear, closed tote like that. And this particular handle, I don't know if you can see this or not, is pinned in here. And that also, I think, might be a characteristic of older style planes. And it has this highly uh, shaped handle here also, which is sort of an older style you see on some old planes. Um, it doesn't guarantee that it's 18th century, but it's sort of a, an older style of, of construction. And then there's something here called the strike button. It's a place where when the iron is in here and the wedge is in here and you want to loosen that up, you can tap the strike button with a mallet and pop the uh, wedge up and loosen the iron to, to readjust it. So what attracted me to this 18th century plane? Why would I want to make a, 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 a plane like this? Um, one of the things I really like about this plane is that the handle is is carved in a, in, a, in a fascinating way with a little detail there. Very, very charming. The fact that it's pinned in, and also just the fact that the planes were, were um, uh, long and thin like this and just uh, a little more delicate. So I just overall I like the styling. I like the round shape of the wedge here as opposed to the uh, 19th century style, a little more boxy and, and uh, chunky like that. Um, so I looked at this plane. I thought it's such a beautiful plane. I need to make one for myself.